Hello, I'm Dan Toppy and welcome to a top 5 tips video for all the hardcore game modes in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So I'm going to be giving you 5 of my best tips for playing in hardcore game modes. They're just going to be generic, they aren't going to be specific to each different game mode. In the hardcore playlist, it's just going to be 5 tips including perks, attachments and a few certain specialists that I think you should be using whilst playing in hardcore game modes just to help you out and help you to win as many games as possible and to become better at hardcore because it's a really good game mode if you are trying to get some of the golden camos like I've done in my going for gold series if you haven't seen them check them out the link down in the description below but these tips will help you out on a few of those things that i have said in the going for gold episodes like with the draken i told you to go and play in hardcore just because it increases the amount of damage that each shot does so in hardcore a draken will be a one shot kill whereas in normal core playlist it would be a two shot kill so you have to be in hardcore if you want to be able to get them one shot kill medals with it so my first tip is that you should always be using a silencer when playing in hardcore because you don't have a minimap in hardcore, a lot of people will be playing off the sounds in the game. So when you shoot, people with headsets will be able to pinpoint where you are on the map and they'll run straight to position and get the kill easily. So if you are using a silencer, it just lowers the sound that is going to make as you're shooting. So they won't be able to hear you as far across the map. And it should mean that you get less attention on the map and be able to just play at the pace you want instead of having people always charging at you. Tip number two is two of the audio perks that I recommend you should be using. Especially if you are using a headset, you want to be using awareness. Because awareness increases the sound of enemies' footsteps. So anyone that is near you, you'll be able to hear really easily and this is really effective since you don't have a minimap. The only point you'll be able to see where the enemies are on a minimap is if you have a UAV or a hater up. And especially if you're in hardcore free for all, you won't have a hater or a UAV in all the time because you don't have any teammates to earn them for you. The only way you'll get them is if you earn them and you won't be getting them all the time. You should need to get at least five kills to get a UAV in this game. So you want to be listening out for the footsteps so then you can hear them and have the advantage over the enemies and know where they are coming from when they won't know where you are. And the other perk that I think you should be using alongside of this one is Dead Silence. Dead Silence means that your normal movements around the map, so excluding all your jumping, thrusts and slides, you won't be able to hear anything, you won't be making any sound, so you'll be able to maximise the use of your awareness without the enemies being able to use their awareness to know where you are as well. So this just means that you can play really cleverly and wait for the enemies to come to you, you'll be able to hear where they are really far away and they won't be able to hear you even if you are just normally moving around. So the next tip is again a perk and this perk is Tracker. Tracker leaves a trail behind the enemies of footprints. So if an enemy runs past you, you'll be able to follow these footprints, track them down and get the kill. This is really good because you don't have a minimap to show you where the enemies are. And also it can point out where the enemies are if they've run into a room and started camping. If you follow them footprints, you'll find the enemy and it should be an easy kill. The next tip is a quick one on the specialists that I think you should be using whilst playing in hardcore. There's only really two specialists that will help you whilst playing in hardcore and that is Kinetic Armor but especially Vision Pulse. Vision Pulse is one which highlights the enemies in red through walls so when you activate it it'll send out a pulse it'll highlight any enemies so you can see them really easily this is really helpful if you are really close to streaks because you don't really want to choke them in hardcore because they are especially useful to have when you don't have any hood so by using vision pulse it'll just help you to clutch up in them situations where you really need it and finally just a quick thing on your play style this is hardcore it's called hardcore for a reason because it's a lot harder than normal core game modes so you do want to slow down a bit don't go into it all cocky thinking that you're a good player and just keep on playing at the same pace you were in normal core game modes because it is a completely different style of play and you need to adapt to that so slow down your play style and instead of being as aggressive as you would normally be play a little bit more defensive hold down buildings hold down spots make sure the enemies can't get up and take them objectives or take that position from you if you are playing in free for all so they were my five quick tips for call of duty black ops 3 hardcore game modes if you have enjoyed this has been helpful please make sure you like comment and subscribe Go check out my previous videos, they'll be in the link down in the description below. I'm also going to be bringing quite a few of the Going For Gold episodes this week because I am off college this week, so I will be bringing out a few more videos. And because I've already got Diamond and all the assault rifles and some machine guns, I just want to get them videos out so they can help as many people as possible because they have been requested by a few people, so I want to get them out as quick as possible to help them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.